Hi, we're Lee and Mandy, Frugal Travellers. Bringing you the latest travel advice and frugal travel tips from the sunny Algarve of Portugal. This is one of my favourite beaches. Let's go down and take a look. As of the 18th of May, there are new rules regarding face masks on the beach. If you can't keep more than two meters apart, like on the streets, then you must wear face masks. You're okay lying on your beach towel, you're okay swimming in the sea, obviously, but if the beach is too crowded, then you must have a face mask on, and the fines are between 50 and 100 euros, apparently. Uh, we're not quite sure how it's working at the moment. We're gonna go down and take a look. To get the very latest information on what's going on over here, we use two very good Facebook groups, Safe Communities Portugal and British Expats in Portugal. They're worth checking out. As you can see at the moment, the beach is quite empty, so there's no reason to wear a mask. Whenever I see these cuttlefish, I think of the budgies we used to have when I was a kid back in NZ. So cool. They just be found here on the beach in Portugal. Because it's low tide at the moment, I've decided I'm going to walk along the beach back to the Miradouro and buy some olives from our lovely little old lady there. Because seriously, home pickled olives are the best. And this way you can see these stunning cliffs of the Algarve. Look at this, so wonderful. And hopefully you can see how high the tide actually goes up. Oh, someone's got the tent there. A hole in the rock. Got there covered by seaweed. And as you can see, yep, there's loads of space. Beaches of the Algarve are Definitely ready for tourists. Just coming along with some sort of vehicle. I'm not too sure if it's. Oh, it's lifesavers! The lifesavers are back. I thought it could have been the police at first, but no. Here we have one of these amazing rock formations, normally protruding out of the water. They're incredible. Loads of swallows are living in them at the moment. Okay, there's the usual warning sign, rock fall. Oh boy, I don't know if you can see how precariously they are perched, those rocks. So I'm not going to go in, but just to show you what you can walk through if you're so inclined. Still heading along now to the Miradouro up ahead. Pride Arosha is on the other side. That couple have just come out of this tiny hole under the rock. I'm so pleased there's another way through. This to me is so what the Algarve's all about. Wow. It's been like chiseled away. Throw a scrape. And now we're on the absolutely and totally enormous, majestic Praia de Rocha. I love this video. Look at it. It's as far as the eye can see. at the top of the hill, Plaza Real, home sweet home, that old Bohemia, the snack bar with the excellent happy hours. I'm just coming around here, that yellow block in the middle, it's been our home for the past six months, love it. 
For those of you who are new to our channel, the name pretty much says it all. We're frugal travelers. We stick to quite a tight budget. It means we walk everywhere or maybe take the bus. Very rarely take taxis and like, never hire cars. We try not to spend more than approximately 20 US dollars a day each, like in total. That's sort of average. Some days, of course, it's more, some days it's less. But so I thought I'd just give you a quick glimpse of our shopping today to show you how we manage to spend so little. We're just back from the market and we want to show you what we bought for 11 euros and 55 cents. Check it out. We've actually found a brilliant stall. She's the cheapest by far. So most of this was from her. Avocados, two euros 35 a kilo. Cucumbers, 150 a kilo. Plums were 170. Apricots were two euros 35. The tomatoes, these were the slightly, you know, lesser quality, so they were 87 cents. Beautiful Lollarossa lettuce for 50 cents. And the capsicum, the peppers, were 1 euro 90 a kilo. Total, that was 10 euros 45. And from another store nearby, we bought oranges at 60 cents a kilo and lemons at 70, and that was 1 euro 10. So it's such a brilliant array of delicious, brightly colored, fresh local vegetables for such a good price. We've just come back from a shopping trip. We went to Lidl. This in total cost 23.98. So I discovered they have an app. So bananas were 69 cents a kilo. I bought 13 and I'll freeze most of them and we'll have them with our muesli in the morning. This is the fancy muesli. It's normally 2.79. That was on special for 2.39. I've got these delicious pork pafanas. That's basically a very thin type of pork steak. We tend to have them with potatoes or with pasta. In Portugal, they tend to go between a bread roll. These worked out to one euro 81 each for 400 grams, which is great. Got the bread on special. Always look for stickers, whether it be green or orange. So this bread is normally 99 cents. It's down to 49 cents. Pretty heavy. Never tried it before, but we tend to cut it up, freeze it, and then toast it. So that's perfect for us. We like the little hummus. They were 139 each, not on special, but we needed it. But this cheese, we haven't tried it yet. It looks quite delicious. Queijo curada. And that was 399 down to 299. That was brilliant. And the same with the chorizo, that was on special as well. I think 149 to 129. The ham was also on special. And the sardines, normal price, 69 cents, which is brilliant, and they've always got a very small chili inside so oh my word I love these we tend to do them with pasta and vegetables and it's just brilliant so I think that was an excellent shot for 23 euros 98 cents speaking of shopping one of the things I love about Portugal is its recycling system so as you can see here on this paper bag full of oats there's a little picture and it says azul which means blue in Portuguese so paper and cardboard go in the blue recycling bin the yogurt pot is plastic, that says Amarelo, as does the crisp packet, because metal and plastic both go in the yellow recycling container. And when it comes to wine and glass, that is verde. So it's so cool. These all get recycled in the different bins out on the street, and your other rubbish just gets chucked in the general waste. So these are the brilliant recycling and rubbish bin areas in Portugal. These ones here with the dark lid are just for your general waste. Green is for glass. Rambling straight there. <laughs> I'm just having a look. So yellow was plastic and metal. And this is what we're actually looking down at. This is great big container under the ground yeah and the truck comes along lifts it up picks them up and takes them away fantastic recycling system the last one was paper cardboard absolutely fantastic and they tend to have them every i don't know every couple of blocks or so so there's no need to push a wheelie bin out it's all outside your apartment or house brilliant Ilia ecologica charity shops have reopened i can finally exchange you know my wardrobe i've been wearing black t-shirts for ages i found two more which is cool but also two other shirts for those hot summer days a pair of jeans 
and a sarong. Oh, and a hat. So, I might be looking kind of crocodile dundee, but hey ho. Awesome. So, how much, <laughs> how much does that lot cost you, Mandy? Not too sure. I've got to go upstairs and pay for it. Might be about 12 euros in total. I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. But it'll still be a huge bargain. Excellent. Some yeah. wardrobe sorted. Definitely.